SIM card types. Have you ever wondered about the different SIM card types? Physical SIMs, eSIMs, maybe there are other SIM card types. Well, we have a short educational video that goes over all the different types that are common now as well as in the near future. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Andy with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, and today we're going to talk about the different SIM types. And we have a lot of SIM content on this channel, as well as a full guide on our website all about SIM cards. But today we're going to talk about the different types of SIMs. And SIM stands for Subscriber Identity Module, and that provides the information that the cellular carrier needs to identify you and your cellular device on the network. Now, traditionally, this has been provided with a SIM card. And that SIM card has a little chip on it that has a code embedded in it that uh, is transmitted to the cellular carrier that identifies you and your cellular plan to the network so that uh, the cellular carrier can provide you service and bill you for that service. Now, physical SIM cards have been around since the dawn of the cellular network, and that is what people are most commonly um, familiar with and why everybody calls these SIM cards. And they're probably gonna be around for a long time. They're still very common, even though that there are other types of SIMs out there and other ways to provide that SIM functionality. So besides a physical SIM card, which everybody is probably familiar with, we'll talk about some of the other ways that that SIM functionality can be provided with today. So besides physical SIM cards, the second most common way to provide SIM functionality is with eSIM or embedded SIM. Basically, all that does is it takes the SIM card functionality and puts it on a chip on the circuit board of a cellular device and allows uh, the uh, provider to electronically put the SIM information onto that chip on the device instead of having it on a physical SIM card. This provides a lot of flexibility because you can uh, load the SIM information onto the chip when load new information, take it off, and you can have multiple SIM profiles on a, on a device. You aren't limited to the number of SIM slots. Uh, many modern flagship cellular phones can have multiple SIM profiles stored at the same time, which means you can have multiple cellular plans on the device at the same time, which is a huge advantage. So uh, other than that, it works very similar to how a physical SIM works in that you load the SIM onto the phone and that means the plan is active on the phone for as long as that SIM is loaded onto the phone or the device. Now, right now, currently when this video is being shot in uh, the uh, spring of 2024, most eSIMs are on smartphones, but we are seeing eSIM expanding out into other types of devices. Uh, a few routers now have eSIM, and we hope to see uh, eSIM expand out into other types of devices as well. But primarily right now, uh, they are on smartphones. So the next type of SIM is called a cloud or virtual SIM. Now this type of technology is a little bit complicated, but you can think of it as having thousands of SIM cards in the cloud and a device being able to download those into the device dynamically and being able to choose which SIM to use based on different conditions and switching those SIMs out as needed. So unlike an eSIM where you load the SIM for a plan and that SIM stays loaded, with a cloud or virtual SIM system, it will switch out SIMs, uh, sometimes frequently, depending on changing network conditions. Now, uh, cloud SIM technology is also different in that it is usually proprietary technology, which means that uh, there isn't one standard that's used by 
all providers. Uh, the technology is usually tied to specific hardware that a uh, provider has to use. So when you see a cloud sim technology, uh, you will usually see specific hardware and that uh, when you have to use a cloud sim plan, you have to use specific hardware with that plan. Additionally, uh, cloud sim technology is most often seen with multi-carrier plans that provide uh, service with uh, multiple carriers and so the uh, service will switch out from one carrier to another depending on signal conditions or other conditions as well as global roaming plans so you'll have one device and if you're in country A it will download a SIM for that country and then you travel across the border to country B and it will detect that and then download a SIM for that country so that you have continuity with that. So that is a, an interesting aspect for cloud SIMs and it provides a, a unique SIM type that provides a lot of benefits for uh, specific use cases for those who are interested in multi-carrier and the global roaming plan options. Finally, the last type of SIM we're going to talk about today is iSIM or integrated SIM. Now, integrated SIM is basically taking eSIM to the next level, where eSIM is taking SIM and putting it on a chip on a circuit board. E iSIM is integrating SIM into the device itself, specifically into the processor or the system on a chip for a device. In essence, it's taking the SIM and miniaturizing it, which makes it much smaller and much more power efficient. Now what this does is it allows SIM technology to be used in uh, much smaller devices, which lets uh, cellular technology be used in a lot more types of devices than could be before, and allows for a lot more power savings uh, on existing devices that also could be used before so that that power can be used for expanded capabilities or longer battery life. But this uh, technology is still in development, still in its very early phases, um, and it is primarily being focused right now on industrial use cases. So we probably will not see this expanding into consumer uses for a couple of years yet but you will see a lot more from iSIM in the future for sure. So that's our overview of the different types of SIMs out there that you will encounter as you look through your different devices and cellular plans. Uh, we hope this has been informative to you, and if you enjoyed this content, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. We do have a lot more of... Uh, SIM related content, we do have a full guide on SIMs on our website. A link is in the description below. And here on our YouTube channel, we do have several other videos related to other topics on SIMs and SIM cards. I encourage you to check those out. Uh, if you do have any comments about SIM cards or questions uh, about this video or anything about SIM cards, please do leave us a comment or question down below and we'd be happy to answer that. Additionally, we are a member-funded resource. Uh, it is our members who make all of this possible. So if you are interested in membership, please check out our membership program. Our members get a lot of benefits, including uh, advice from our team of experts, access to our full reviews and testing of mobile internet plans, gear, uh, antennas, and everything mobile internet related. So if that's something that interests you, please check out our membership program. There is a link in the description below. So we appreciate you watching. We hope you stay connected. Take care and we'll see you next time. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.